Hello, this is Miss Joanne from the Metuchen Public Library. This is the Raising Readers program. Thank you for joining me. This program will include a read aloud for your little one and some reading specialist tips for the grown-ups. I like to start with a quote. So this is related to easy readers or beginning reader books. That's my topic for today. My quote is, an early reader book should make reading seem like a club that your child wants to be in instead of a lesson to be critiqued on. That quote was by Paul and Russo. So what does that mean? That means when you're looking for easy readers for your beginning reader, you should find books that are engaging and motivating for your child to read. They can be simplistic and have very controlled vocabulary and still be motivating at the same time. What are some of the factors you should look for in an early reader? A clear relationship between the text and the pictures on each of the pages. Some repetition in the words, some, a pattern with the text to enable the child to have fluency uh, to that. Rhyme and wordplay and some engaging content, a motivational topic for your child. You can find Easy Readers on our digital platforms that we offer through Metuchen Library, such as Hoopla and eBooks. So you can find uh, Easy Reader books for your children there. Uh, also, at our library, you can give us a call and ask for us to make a collection for you of easy reader books and let us know what stage of reading your child is at. We'll be happy to make a bundle of easy readers for you to pick up at our curbside pickup. So I have a read aloud today that is what you might call an early reader. Uh, it's like beginning chapter book. So uh, this is about two hippos who are best friends and it's George and Martha written and illustrated by James Marshall. They are a series of books. This is a compilation of all of them published by Houghton Mifflin. I have two stories I'll share with you today. One is called The Flying Machine. Let's get started. The Flying Machine. I'm going to be the first of my species to fly, said George. Then why aren't you flying? asked Martha. It seems to me that you are still on the ground. You are right, said George. I don't seem to be going anywhere at all. Maybe the basket is too heavy, said Martha. Yes, said George. I think you are right again. Maybe if I climb out, the basket will be lighter. Oh dear, cried George. Now what have I done? There goes my flying machine. That's all right, said Martha. I would rather have you down here with me. And that's the flying machine. You see how that was pretty short chapter and that it would be a chapter for a child who has already mastered a lot of easy words and has a growing sight word vocabulary and can now read a bit more with some assistance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Story number four, the beach. One day, George and Martha went to the beach. I love the beach, exclaimed Martha. So do I, said George. However, we must be sure to put on our suntan lotion. But Martha refused to put on her suntan lotion. You'll be sorry, George called out. Oh, Pooh, said his friend. You're a fuss budget, George. 
Martha was having such a lovely time. The next day, Martha had a terrible sunburn. She felt all hot and itchy. But George never said, I told you so, because that's not what friends are for. Okay, so I also want to talk with you for a moment a little bit more about early readers. Many times patrons come into the library and ask for a certain level, such as level three books. And it's important to understand that every publisher has a different leveling system for their early reader books. Therefore, there is no consistency across all publishers that if you find a level three book, they will not all be the same. So it's important when you're choosing an early reader for your child that you look through the book with them and see if you think they will know about 97% of the words in the book before they attempt to read it independently. That way they will not get frustrated trying to read the words. They'll be able to read most of the words and for two or 3% of the words they'll use their decoding skills to help them. So a good rule of thumb is look through the book first and see if your child knows 97 to 98% of the words in the book to start. That means it's right at their reading level for independent reading. I implore you to make sure you find books that are motivational that your child will enjoy so that it does not feel like a chore but it feels like a very fun, enriching activity for both you and your child as they're learning to read. I hope you enjoy these reading specialist tips for today and that you enjoyed George and Martha. Maybe you can ask for them from the library. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.